We are okay. Um, Coach Rani, yeah. if you can give us a summary of the game and congratulations on the emphatic pick. Um, yeah, good evening to to the members of the media and um, thanks thanks once again, Shoops. Uh, congratulations to to Team Mamelodi Sundowns. Congratulations uh, to our our fantastic group of players and um, congratulations to the entire technical team for a lot of work that went in uh, behind the scenes and uh, congratulations to to the Sundown supporters. Yeah, look, first half not so good, uh, not so good. Um, too too many movements. Um, but and it sounds crazy to to say that, but it is, you know. And sometimes even when you you work a little bit uh, in preparing for an opposition that is orientated in a in a man to man sort of uh, scheme, um, and sometimes the automatic reaction is to think that you need to do a lot of movements without the ball so that you can get rid of your marker. But uh, contrary to that is uh, then you compromise the structure. And once you compromise the structure, you have uh, very little possibilities to, to retain possession and then very little possibilities to, to counter press, high press. And yeah, it was better in the second half and we, we improved that. So so yeah well deserved uh three points with uh, a good second half showing thank you coach uh, mazala Molefe, your hand is up uh, thanks Shupi. uh congratulations coach uh <clears throat> my question if i could also just give a uh, context to it as well uh just wanted to find out you sort of what 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 would you say sets you apart especially for this season i mean when you've won four league titles in a row and you've started you 10 game 10 points in, in in four games you know some some are saying give them the trophy already some are saying uh, <clears throat> the season is a marathon but in the context of how you finished the previous season four titles how you've started what's setting you apart is it the recruitment um the the aggressive recruitment you know the the technical setup or the support structure combination of of everything yeah, well, a lot of people say it's uh, the resources we have, and it's true. Uh, we are blessed to have the leadership that we have. Uh, we are blessed to have uh, the leaders in uh, the president, the chairman, uh, to to support us as much as they support us. Uh, the management of the club, um, and and really. Uh, you can't speak in isolation with regards to the success of this club. Ours is to try to just continue the the success that was achieved by our predecessors uh, and, and 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 fulfill the objectives that uh, are set uh, by by this big institution. Um, we are fortunate we come in into a club that's got very well established uh, culture. Uh, the culture that's embedded by uh, a, a relentless work ethic and um, yeah good uh, we are where we are and uh, at this moment in time yeah as you said even earlier the league is a marathon uh, we've got to be professional we've got to be diligent and now it's about resting uh, recovering uh, then we analyze the game tonight and we check uh, the corrections and then we 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 prepare for for a very difficult game against uh, uh, a good side in in Orlando Pirates. Uh, good on me. Your hand is up, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, Shumpi, and uh, congratulations, coach. Just your comment on Tavisu Kutumela getting his first goal. Could this be, you know, first of many? And then, secondly, are we yet to see the best of Mamelodi Sundowns yet? Yeah, your second question, very true. Um, and, and not because we won the match, now we start singing a, a different song. Match day one, uh, we knew that five, six games before, uh, as the season progresses, we knew that we were not going to be at our best and, 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 and it's still evident. The first half was a little bit uh, in patches, we showed very good signs. Uh, the second half, we were a lot more dominant. Uh, the rhythm was uh, a lot better. And the personality of the team was a little bit more 
uh, in the space that we want. We, we don't want to have a team that uh, uh, competes. We want a team that dominates. Uh, and that's that's what we want. And that's what we showed a little bit in also in the second half where we structurally we were much better. Um, the usage of the ball was a lot better. Uh, and our schemes in and out of possession were, were excellent. And we try to to make sure that one, we, we we look to play a perfect game. We speak about it all the time. Of course, perfection doesn't exist, but uh, the desire to want to be perfect is 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 very important because uh, when you chase perfection, even when you don't attain it, uh, you reach a level of excellence, and and that's what we want. We want a perfect game. We want to 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 have every pass perfect, every build up perfect, every pressing scheme perfect. Um, and we work in a way that we, this is the demand that we put on the team in, in, in training. But at the same time, we also want to be a team that is very difficult to play against. Uh, we don't want anyone that comes and plays Mamelodi Sundowns and thinks it's a walk in the park. So uh, from a technical, tactical perspective, it's important that we get our preparation right. And, uh, and we move in a way that uh, speaks about humility, respect, but also to to repay the the work that we put in behind the scenes because we work extremely hard and uh, there's a lot of investment that happens uh, in the club holistically so it's very important that the performance of the team the personality of the team uh, reflects that on kutumela yeah uh, we we brought him to the club exactly for that to to score goals uh, to assist the team, uh, and 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 when you see the amount of work that even when he comes in, immediately he's uh, he's pressing and uh, he's assisting the the team with regards to uh, a lot of the work that we do out of possession and uh, off the ball. And he's a player that uh, of course uh, will grow and and grow with the team because the team still also needs to grow. Um, but you can say the same about even an Aubrey Modiba. You can say the same about uh, um, Hashim Domingo. You can say the same about uh, Villa. You saw his his impact, uh, of, although he didn't score, but he comes in with the right attitude and uh, wants to assist the team in in ensuring that the performance is very good. And and uh, the same can be said about Lisedi Kapinga. The same can be said about George Malulega. All these players are very, very important. Um, and they are part of Mamelodi Sundowns. And when you are part of Sundowns, you are part of the family. And and uh, we respect and, and and appreciate everyone here. Um, and their time, their time will come. They've just got to compete for for the position and and be patient. Uh, and um, it's still a very long season, and everybody's going to get an opportunity to play. The hand from Robin will be the last one. Karabu Pasha, please go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Chupi. Uh, good evening, Coach. Uh, congratulations on uh, on the victory. I think well deserved. Uh, coach, I think obviously one thing that I've uh, I've picked up is that uh, it looks like you guys have really worked hard on your defense because you know you haven't considered thus far. Uh, was that one of the key areas that you guys focused on in preseason? And uh, as secondly, Coach, uh, just I think you know one of our job is to really educate. In simple terms, coach, rest defense so that we can also, you know, educate uh, the supporters. Can you just, uh, in simple terms, uh, educate us in terms of the words uh, rest defense? Thank you. Uh, I, lo I love speaking football. So please, more, more questions about the technicalities of the game. I, I love those type of questions. But yeah, no, uh, Karabo, um, you see, I'm so excited about jumping into the question about rest defense. I, 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 I've forgotten the first question. Um, what was the first question? Oh, the defense. Oh, look, we 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 have certain schemes in our play, and not without exposing too much, uh, it is clear that uh, we don't defend from the defensive line, and we don't rely only on our goalkeepers. I think, if I remember correctly, apart from one or two headers from Ego uh, on dead ball situations, I think Dennis only pulled off one very big save, um, and to restrict. Uh, a good side like TS Galaxy into into one big chance uh, over 90 minutes uh, reflects how, how important our overall organization is. Uh, the way you defend is 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 a reflection of what you do when you are in possession of the ball. We are very clear on that. And our relationship between what we do in possession, how we use the ball and what positions we take up 
we know that that then influences the breakdown and the reaction thereafter when we are out of possession. So a lot of the work that we do in the team is, 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 is about um, our offensive uh, principles. And then your offensive principles immediately reflect uh, when you are out of possession. There's a clear relationship and, and all big teams have this. Uh, but but um, yeah, good. Uh, the work that uh, Peter does from the top, uh, Kemet does from the top. And even when you see Kutumela Villa coming in and uh, last time last week you saw uh, Neo Mayama coming in and contributing. And then you've got what we, we speak about as a safety net uh, just behind the first line of the press. Uh, those are very, very important. So um, it's not just about the, the quality and the, the hard work in terms of the concentration and the discipline of, of our defensive line, but really, in, in all honesty, the work starts uh, on top and uh, with our front line. Uh, and it's just a continuation because the principles were, were set last season and uh, it helped us not, uh, to only lose one one match in domestic competitions and concede only 14 goals last season. So it's just a continuation from from uh, last uh, season. And uh, yeah, good. Uh, we've got a top, top, top team with uh, top, top, top individuals and human beings. And, and it becomes a lot easier to, to work on these principles. Rest defense, Karabo, is, um, is something that is predominantly coming into, into football a lot more. I think I think the one team that has it right. If you watch a lot uh, Chelsea, uh, and you see how uh, Thomas Tuchel sets up his team, um, that's where the education is. We try to strive to get to that level. We want to be uh, just as good as some of the top teams in in, in the modern game, and and uh, and uh, that means that uh, when and and even in South Africa, where predominantly a lot of teams rely heavily on transitions. It means that your rest defense has got to be proper. And what that means is that um, you you are resting in a defensive phase while you are in possession of the ball. So you're defending passively, but but you are in possession and you are in attack. And that's what rest defense is about. Rest defense means being ready to defend, being in the right positions offensively, and you are ready to defend when a breakdown takes place. And 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 we work very very hard on this and. Um, it's good that it reflects in the game. It, it's good that it reflects uh, in the results. But as I always say, the game belongs to the players and and um, they they work and they bring these principles and these uh, schemes to life. And we've got to just uh, give them a lot of kudos and, and, and a lot of respect and appreciation for, for the uh, diligence that they show throughout 90 minutes. Saba Mailani, please go ahead, sir. Uh, coach, just wanted to check with you, Tapang, sorry. Um, who's the Sundowns captain? And secondly, you mentioned last week, um, I just couldn't ask the question because the press conference finished. Lyle Kay not being in the squad, you felt that he should be there. Why do you feel he should be there? Who's the Sundowns captain? We've got un unbelievable leaders in the change room. I mean, from Kennedy Muini to Dennis Onyango to Musa Libusa. Uh, we don't we don't rely only on who has the armband. Uh, we've got a lot of senior players that assume a lot of responsibility in the change room, and because of that, it becomes very easy for us to to. It becomes just a formality. The FIFA rules say oh, somebody must wear the armband, but the reality is, um, any one of our thirty six players can can be a leader and can be a captain. So. Um, we, we believe in, in, in that sort of leadership style where we want accountability, we want responsibility, but we also want uh, um, what we call shared leadership, you know, and, and, and once you have shared leadership, uh, you then move into having a team that in your defensive line, you've got leaders, in your midfield line, you've got leaders, uh, AJ River. Uh, could easily be wearing the armband. So we are in that space and fortunate that we've got so many personalities, big, strong personalities that are able to, to lead the team. And uh, uh, that's, that's, that's the way we, 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 we love the team to, to, to have this. Uh, they control uh, the change room and, and they help us. And, and really, to be honest, it's not just about uh, wearing the armband or, 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 or even in good moments, uh, you show leadership. It's very easy uh, to lead when things are, are okay and smooth and rosy. 
But what we look for in our players is uh, the ability to stand up and to be counted, to, to have presence uh, in the changing room, on the pitch when uh, things do not go so well. And, and that's what we have. We have so many of these personalities and we are extremely fortunate that we have that, which then puts us in a position where we don't really, really rely on uh, the unbanned to to show who our leaders are, you know. So, um, yeah, we are in that space where we've got so many, and we are fortunate to 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 be in that space. The second question was, Lila. oh, Lila K. Yeah, well, I watch Bafana. I watch uh, Bafana against Ghana. I watch the entire Kosafa uh, tournament. And you want to ask me why I think Lyle is 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 um, not in the Bafana team is because when I watch Bafana, I see. Uh, Mahopa up front, I see Songwane up front, and then I see a right-footed fullback at left back. So, thank you, coach. Uh, front runner, Fidel. Thank you, thank you, Shubi. Evening, coach, and congratulations, uh, Fidel from front runner. Uh, four wins, uh, lost nothing, and you haven't conceded, coach. Do you think? the Champions League will be a place where you will be truly, truly tested. I know you don't underestimate any teams, but do you think the Champions League, that's where you think you'll be really tested? Thank you. Yeah, of course, the Champions League is, 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 uh, is, is the playground, is the natural habitat for Mabelodi Sundowns, of course. Uh, Sundowns is a big club. The Champions League is a big stage for big clubs. And uh, that's that's the level that we want to be be in. Uh, but the reality is, um, football is is such a, a difficult sport that if you get too far ahead of yourself, uh, you're gonna have a lot of problems. So we work match by match, uh, day by day. Uh, we want to win every single match, and that means that we've got to win every single day. Every training session must be a win. Uh, Every rest day must be a win because we believe those are invisible training sessions where the nutrition needs to be right, the rest of the players needs to be right, and we have to win. And by winning uh, every single day, we then put ourselves in a position to, to win on match day. And the amount of work that has to be done by the technical team in with regards to planning training sessions, uh, planning for a specific opponent, planning to review the previous performances, uh, ma making sure that we do our corrections, we analyze the strengths, the weaknesses of, of the opponents, the amount of time that it takes to, to prepare for a match also just doesn't allow us to get too far ahead of ourselves. So we go step by step, match by match, um, competition by competition, and, and, and uh, without even thinking too much about Champions League, of course, we have one eye on it. We, we know where we're going uh, for, for the qualifying round and uh, uh, but our focus 150% is on is on Orlando Pirates now. Uh, okay, we rest, uh, we recoup and regenerate. Um, we analyze the game and we, we, we try to find uh, the areas where we have to improve and we are going to improve. Uh, but at the same time, we, we also know that uh, we can't get too far ahead of ourselves. It's a club that is uh, built on on respect. It's a club that is built on family values and it's a club that's been built on, on humility. And um, um, you, you demonstrate those uh, by, by paying attention even to the smallest and minutest of details, uh, by showing a lot of humility every single day and working hard. And, and that's what, we, that's what we, we focus on. So without getting too far ahead of ourselves, the next and the most important uh, match is, is is the most important for us. Davi. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Kosh. Uh, congratulations on that uh, emphatic victory once again. Um, Kosh, some developments from uh, this afternoon. Um, with DRC, we always know of uh, TP Mazembe, AS Vita, but now to see uh, a different team in your next opponent, um, Maniema Union, uh, I think they won 3 1 on aggregate. I'm, I'm sure that because you're, you're just less than a month before you meet them, um, you've been following them. 
Yeah, it's the it's, it's the way is the way the club works. It's a policy of the club. Uh, we first it was the draw, and that's the first step, understanding the draw so that you can map your way into the Champions League. And then with one eye, you look at the the tie because you want to know, is it Gabon, is it DRC? Because there's so many permutations with regards to that. COVID comes into play, traveling arrangements come into play. And, and uh, fortunately, we've got a, a team behind the scenes that's got so much experience on the African continent with regards to these preparations and making sure that uh, everything is planned to, to the T without... Uh, missing any small minute detail because at that stage uh, everything is important and everything reflects within the performance of the team and and influences the result so yeah of course we can't run away from the fact that we've had one eye on it but uh, as i say uh, step by step game by game we've we've got so many fixtures before that i mean we've got difficult fixtures where there's an Orlando Pirates that's waiting. There's uh, Golden Arrows for for a very important second leg, and uh, and then there's a Morocco Swallows team that uh, did exceptionally well last season. They've recruited extremely well, uh, and they are much stronger than uh, than uh, even today's result against SuperSport suggests. So, yeah, we've got a lot of work to do. We've got to we've got to just keep focused, and uh, uh, even though we still uh, keep one eye there, but. Um, some of those things we we delegate to 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 our management and and, and make sure that uh, we trust in them because they've got the experience in, in handling these sort of issues. But uh, we are in that space where we want to do well in the Champions League, and doing well in the Champions League means being progressive uh, and uh, being uh, a step ahead of everybody else, and 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 th and that's where we are. Uh, but as I say, uh, first things first. You can never ever in football put the cart before the horse uh, and if you do that it means regressing or, or remaining stagnant and we don't want to do that thank you coach robin took last question from you thanks oh. hey, robin your, your network is a problem most of the time can we try again <laughs> um with that game Robin, Madrala, Madrala, are you ready? Do you feel that you Manu, can you mute uh, Robin? Manu, please mute Robin. Manu, please mute uh, Robin. There's a there's a question here. Host Manu, with Robin. Uh, they have won the last two games now. And then just on uh, Bafana, Bafana coach will announce uh, the squad this coming weekend. Um, are you expecting Kusa Robin, sorry, sorry, my big man. We we are really yeah. struggling to to hear you. You are not audible at all. So maybe maybe yeah. Shoops, if you give him an opportunity to 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 type out his, yeah. his question. Robin, can you? I think even for future press conferences, just send a message and then we'll ask on your behalf. <laughs> um, yeah, but what if in the future his network is better? No, it's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Robin, can you please just send me a text? Uh, there's a text question here about Musa Lubusa's calmness at the back. If you can just uh, having him back and just how calm he is. If you can just uh, maybe elaborate on that coach. Top football player, top football player. Uh, we've seen um, his contribution and uh, his leadership overall. Yeah, uh, you run out of superlatives when you try to describe, but you can speak so much about every single player. In fact, I don't know how how we chose men of the match today because uh, you could have chosen any one of the Sundowns players from from the starting eleven to the subs. Uh, the most difficult, I think, the most difficult job today was on on uh, the people responsible for I don't know what you call them adjudicators. I don't know what you call them, but the people that choose the men of the match uh, today was. Uh, was uh, you could have chosen anybody. Uh, super five-star performances from a lot of the players, particularly in the second half. So 
Um, Musa was one of them. Um, and as we spoke about his, uh, his influence in uh, our pulled up schemes, uh, a team that goes man to man and uh, tries to pin us into our half with uh, the build up sometimes, then you need uh, a little bit of this um, overload on the left with Lyle and Musa and we work on this scheme, but but good congratulations uh, to River for being man of the match, well deserved, but as I say, it could easily have been given to 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 any one of uh, the Mamelodi Sundowns football players. I don't see any message from Robin in the absence of that. Uh, can call it a night. Thank you, coach. Good night. Thank you so much, guys. Robin. I planned it. <laughs> Robin Aiko. It is not on WhatsApp. Aiko. Okay, let's, Aiko. Check, on the, let's check on the, on the chats. Okay. Yeah. Robin. Yeah. Okay. Does the coach expect Lubusa Lakay to be recalled to Wafana by the coach? Look, we respect we respect the Bafana coach. He's got to make uh, his own decisions. Um, and he's got his own job to do. I mean, can you imagine 52 million uh, people who who have opinions about who should be in the Bafana team? We can't do that. I mean, I, I'm a football coach. I know what it's like to be put in a position where you are under a lot of scrutiny and a lot of pressure to, to, to put certain players. But if we speak on meritocracy, if we speak about uh, having the best players uh, representing the national team, then uh, for sure, then um, without being biased or sounding biased. And of course, uh, if you ask me about any Mamelodi Sundowns player, uh, the first answer would definitely be yes, because uh, I've got also look after the interests of, of our players. We want our players to, to be exposed to the national teams. We want our players to represent the nation. And that's why we sign the best players in the country. And when you have the best players in the country, uh, you, ha you expect to go into a FIFA window without uh, any player. In fact, uh, during the FIFA break, uh, the best thing for us is, is to go to the MDC side and go to the under 19s, go to under 13s and, and hold training sessions there. That's, that's what we would like to do during the FIFA break is to try to, to breed this uh, culture, playing style uh, into our youth. And the only way to do that is by having all our players going to represent the national team. So. Uh, maybe a simple way to answer your question is yes, because uh, we love our players, we believe in our players, and we believe that they are the best in the country. And uh, when they show that they are the best and they work hard uh, and on merit, they show that they deserve to be in the national team, then, of course, uh, without putting pressure on the Bafana technical team, uh, of course, the answer is yes. Thank you, Coach. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Oh, in real life.